All right, folks, last year, L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva took over the nation's largest sheriff's department in the United States. Since then, he's dealt with several major issues, one of the biggest right now, the ICE raids, which are expected to happen this weekend. And Sheriff Villanueva is here to talk about it. First, thank you so much for coming on, especially at this time with this announcement today. Oh, my, my pleasure. So I guess the first question for you, we understand that, of course, with these raids, anytime they happen, it brings about fear in the community. You can have the possibility that families will be separated from their children. What are your thoughts about what's going on now and where do you stand and what are you going to say to the people who are watching right now that you support and serve? Well, I can say unequivocally that we're not participating in any way, shape or form with their ICE raids. And I disagree entirely with the Trump administration's uh, campaign of fear in our nation. I think it's inappropriate. But that comes with backlash, right? Oh, yeah, it does, because then the undocumented population that we in L.A. County is one million or almost one million. People are, are afraid to report crimes and report being victims or even witnessing crime. And if they're not participating, that means all of us are less safe. And that's what we're trying to do is get people to feel like local law enforcement has nothing to do with immigration enforcement. Well, Sheriff, what should families do? Because, of course, you have some undocumented people living with U.S. citizens. What's going to happen when, there, when these raids happen? Well, that's, that's the, one of the big problems. When you have these mixed families, you have a variety of different uh, categories. They could be undocumented, legal resident, U.S. citizen, naturalized citizens. And the fear alone, and there's been studies that have shown that that fear goes all the way to U.S. citizens already, that presence of ICE. So that impact is very, very damaging. And what we can tell them is keep your doors shut and uh, ask for a search warrant. And if they don't have it, well, then don't open the door. And have you put out a message to the men and women that serve under you uh, as far as this weekend, what could happen? Clearly, because these departments could sort of, uh, you know, meet up with each other if something happens and gets out of hand. Well, if something happens, we're obviously going to have to assist a, a law enforcement officer who may be in distress or under attack in some form or fashion. We'd never turn that away. However, we are not participating in any way, shape whatsoever. Our jail system is not involved. We've removed ICE agents from the county jails and we're not participating. We're not receiving grant money from the federals to release our database to the federal government. So all these things we're doing to minimize the impact of ICE in Los Angeles County. So is it true that the uh, FBI is now investigating your department because actually, of secret societies and, and, and possible gangs within your department? Actually, I can actually say they are not investigating it. What I can say is we'd be more than happy to assist them in any way, shape or form if and when they decide to do an investigation but that is not happening right now. So the secret societies that some deputies say exist, that isn't a concern within the department? It's always been a concern. This is a concern that goes back to the 1970s and it, it resurfaces every 10 years or so. And the most latest version of it is with the Bandidos in East Los Angeles station. But I removed the, the very first action I did in office on December 3rd, we removed the station captain from East LA. We replaced the entire management team of the station. We have a new station commander there who is doing a wonderful job of separating the who's who in the zoo. Uh, 36 trances have already happened. People have left the station now. We created a policy that actually addresses uh, deputy cliques and, and sub uh, groups within the department. And we're talking about uh, tattoos and all these things. And if it's damaging, uh, employees are treating people wrongly because of that, well then, that, they're not going to be deputies any longer. But you can't say for certain that it's not going on within well, your department. We, we have some behavior that is of concern. The fight that happened in, in September of last year during the previous administration illustrated that concern. And now it's a subject of litigation, and we're addressing that. We've launched criminal investigation. We've launched internal affairs investigation. And we did that first policy that has never been done in the history of the department. So we're doing everything physically or legally possible to this date and that the results will speak for themselves.